In a world constantly shaped by technological advancements, Google has finally launched Gemini. Gemini is a leap beyond the familiar boundaries of AI, promising to redefine our understanding of artificial intelligence. In this exclusive reveal, we delve into the versatile capabilities of Gemini, among other things. From interpreting human speech to analyzing complex codes, we will explore how this multimodal AI system sets a new standard in the evolution of AI, how it compares to GPT-4, and much more. Google Gemini is a groundbreaking family of multimodal artificial intelligence large language models. Officially announced on December 6, 2023, these models are distinguished by their capabilities in comprehending and processing language, audio, code, and video. Sergey Brin, co-founder of Google, played a key role in developing Gemini along with a team of Google experts. Gemini marked a new era in Google's AI technology, eclipsing their previous Pathways Language Model, or Palm 2, which was introduced on May 10, 2023. An integral part of various Google technologies, Gemini enhances generative AI applications, with its most notable implementation being in the Google Bard AI chatbot, a successor to the Palm 2 powered version. Gemini's proficiency extends to natural language processing, enabling it to accurately understand and process both language inputs and data. Its capabilities also include advanced image understanding and recognition, allowing it to analyze complex visual information like charts and diagrams without relying on external optical character recognition or OCR systems. One of the standout features of Gemini is its extensive multilingual support, which encompasses not just translation, but also various functionalities across different languages. This includes mathematical reasoning and summarization in several languages, as well as the ability to generate image captions in multiple languages. What sets Gemini apart from previous Google models is its inherent multimodal nature. It is trained end-to-end -end on datasets that span multiple types of data, empowering it with cross-modal reasoning abilities. This means Gemini can interpret and interact with different types of input data, including audio, images, and text, in a cohesive manner. The Gemini family comprises different models tailored to specific use cases and deployment scenarios. The Ultra model, designed for highly complex tasks, is slated for release in early 2024. The Pro model, which is used for Google Bard and in platforms like Google Cloud Vertex AI and Google AI Studio, is geared towards performance and scalability. The Nano model, with two versions, Nano 1 and Nano 2, is intended for on-device applications, such as in the Google Pixel 8 Pro smartphone. In addition, Gemini models are equipped with extensive multilingual capabilities, allowing them to translate and understand content in more than 100 languages. Gemini also has image understanding. With advanced image processing abilities, Gemini can analyze and interpret complex visual elements like charts, figures, and diagrams independently without the need for external OCR tools. It can also perform tasks like image captioning and visual question answering. And Gemini can process audio. Gemini supports speech recognition and audio translation tasks in more than 100 languages, showcasing its versatility in handling audio data. And the models are adept at analyzing video clips, enabling them to answer queries and create descriptions based on video frame content. Gemini's strength lies in its ability to merge different data types for a given prompt to produce a comprehensive output. This multimodal reasoning is integral to its functionality. And finally, Gemini demonstrates proficiency in understanding, interpreting, and generating code in several popular programming languages, including Python, Java, C++, and Go. This feature makes it valuable in coding and software development contexts. What Gemini can do compared to its predecessors enables it to compete effectively with OpenAI's GPT-4 model. What do you think? All right, how does Google Gemini work exactly? At its core, Gemini employs transformer model-based neural network architectures. This architecture in Gemini is specifically tailored to handle extended contextual sequences across diverse data types. Google DeepMind incorporated sophisticated attention mechanisms in the transformer decoder. These mechanisms are crucial for enabling the models to process long contexts that span multiple modalities.
The training of Gemini models involved a wide range of multimodal and multilingual datasets, encompassing text, images, audio, and video. Google DeepMind implemented advanced data filtering techniques to enhance the efficiency of this training process. Post-training, as these models are integrated into specific Google services, they undergo targeted fine-tuning to tailor them more closely to specific applications. An important aspect of Gemini's operational capability is the use of Google's TPU v5 chips during training and inference phases. These chips are custom-designed AI accelerators optimized for the efficient training and deployment of large-scale models like Gemini. To validate Gemini's effectiveness and reliability, the model was subjected to rigorous testing across a range of academic benchmarks. Addressing the critical challenge of bias and potential toxicity in large language models, or LLMs, is a significant concern. Google has reported that Gemini underwent thorough safety evaluations and measures to mitigate risks related to bias and toxicity, aiming to ensure a safer LLM environment. Now, let's see how Gemini performs compared to OpenAI's GPT-4. Google Gemini stands out for its multimodal approach, being trained on text, images, audio, and video. This diversity in training data equips Gemini with the ability to process and understand various types of inputs, enhancing its versatility in handling multimodal data. GPT-4. Originally a text-centric model, GPT-4 has expanded its capabilities with GPT-4V, introducing visual input processing. However, it primarily remains more focused and sophisticated in text processing compared to Gemini's broader multimodal approach. Google Gemini offers variants, as you know by now, Ultra, Pro, and Nano, each tailored to specific use cases. This demonstrates a commitment to scalability and performance optimization for different applications. GPT-4 features variants like GPT-3.5 Turbo and GPT-4 Turbo, focusing on efficient and scalable solutions, mainly for text-based applications. These variants are optimized for different computational needs and applications. Context Window and Text Processing Both Gemini and GPT-4 boast a long context window of 32,000 tokens, facilitating extensive text input handling and enabling deep understanding and continuous text generation over prolonged interactions. The choice between Google Gemini and GPT-4 largely depends on the specific application and requirements. Gemini's strength lies in its versatility across multiple data types, whereas GPT-4 excels in advanced text processing and conversation capabilities. The performance comparison indicates that each has areas where it outshines the other, making them both valuable in different contexts. Okay, enough about everything Gemini can do and how it performs compared to GPT-4. You can use Google Gemini across various Google services. BARD. This is Google's advanced conversational AI service. It utilizes a fine-tuned version of Gemini Pro, offering enhanced reasoning and chatbot functionalities. BARD represents Google strides in the interactive AI, providing users with sophisticated conversational experiences. Another notable application is AlphaCode 2, a code generation tool developed by Google DeepMind. It employs a tailored version of Gemini Pro, showcasing the model's ability in understanding and generating programming code. Then you have the Google Pixel 8 Pro, a smartphone developed by Google, is the first device to incorporate Gemini Nano. The integration of Gemini into the Pixel 8 Pro enables new features such as the summarization function in the Recorder app and the Smart Reply feature in the Gboard for messaging applications. This demonstrates Gemini's potential in enhancing mobile device functionalities. In Google Cloud's Vertex AI service, Gemini Pro is made available to developers. This service provides foundational models that developers can harness to construct their applications, indicating Gemini's adaptability and utility in cloud-based environments. Another platform where developers can engage with Gemini is through the Google AI Studio. This web-based tool facilitates the prototyping and building of applications using Gemini, showcasing its versatility and ease of integration in various development environments. And Google is also experimenting with integrating Gemini into its search generative experience. This experimentation aims to reduce latency and enhance the quality of search results, reflecting Gemini's potential in revolutionizing search engine capabilities.
Will 2024 be the year marked by significant changes in the realm of AI, fueled by all the new technologies? I believe so. Join the conversation below and don't forget to subscribe for more insights into the evolving world of AI.